Hi, welcome back to Elgo Space. I'm coding Suzu. Today I'm on my Arch Linux right now. Uh, just to tell you that I use Arch by the way. Uh, I can see it. I have uh, got the kernel version 6.1.8, uh, which is the I think the latest version right now. Uh, so in this video, uh, I will be telling you you about my project uh, compete engine uh, first of all I'm gonna open one more tab here okay perfect uh, so I'm gonna you know like uh, I'm gonna check the folder structure I'm gonna into go into the root uh, of my project uh, which is as like the tangible layer I think like and I think the compete engine okay this is my project compete engine like you can see a lot of folders here but don't worry uh, you know like we we're only going to focus on C++ which is like a ninja build CP, CP. okay so uh, basically uh, this compete engine uh, project is uh, nothing but a set of build system automation like uh, to you know code faster basically like to build project faster mm, uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is like I'm gonna like uh, for I'm gonna focus on C++ because uh, for competitive programming like in the world of competitive programming C++ is the most widely used programming language so I'm, I'll be focusing on uh, mm, C++ so uh, for C++ I have like uh, make build CP and uh, Ninja build CP like uh, basically, um, I mostly use like uh, Ninja build CP because uh, Ninja is really super fast uh, in both of the things like uh, make build C CP and Ninja build CP. They both use CMake, like they are both well integrated with CMake. And the only difference between these two is like uh, here in the make build CP, like we use CNU make, and in Ninja build CP, you use like Ninja C Ninja build system. Like I'm gonna go into nin uh, Ninja build CP, like uh, okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go into problem set. I'm gonna create a problem here, like which is um, like uh, I'm gonna create one project here, like uh, by the command like mp underscore uh, cpp, uh, which is the command uh, that I made using the base scripts. Like, uh, so I'm gonna give it a name, I'm gonna give it a name. Uh, code and I'm gonna press enter so it's gonna create a project for me now it's building the code uh, basically I'm pre-building it so that I can compile faster later uh, here it's open ending the uh, uh, code for me like uh, I have what I'm gonna do here I'm, I, I'm just gonna like uh, write uh, hello world okay okay this is basically the template uh, that I use in competitive programming like it's nothing special but it's just a simple basic template okay uh, I'm gonna save it and exit okay uh, right now uh, what I'm gonna do is like uh, I'm gonna go to uh, CD here you can see the the code, uh, the project code is generated. I'm gonna go into that. Uh, here you can see that the code.cpp here, where I write the code. Like you can see it, it's safe. Uh, what I'm gonna do is that uh, I'm gonna go into build folder here. So I'm gonna, let me go. Okay, clear. Just to make the screen clear okay you can see that the ninja make files are here like uh, these are the build files uh this is the uh, ninja build file uh, you can see say it as a make file also like in case of the Unimac, like in case of you know like uh, this will be used for building a ninja project like what i'm gonna do is like i have a um, you can do like a ninja to build it uh or you can 
uh, if you want to run it like you can just do is like uh, dot code now it's gonna run for me now it's running for me uh, it's asking for input like how many times I want to print like I'm just gonna input 10 now it's gonna print hello world 10 times like uh, it's super cool uh, I can also like uh, compile at the same time and run it at the same time like like this uh, I have a command for that like fmeg I have made using the base script now it's asking for input like I'm gonna give it 100 now it's gonna print me uh, hello world uh, 100 times uh, it's cool right so let's do one more thing here like I'm gonna go into dead directory uh, it's like tender lab uh, compute engine problem set oh okay my mistake ninja wcp problem set then code okay clear now you can see the code here like I'm gonna open it with NeoVim uh, I have uh, opened it with NeoVim uh, I'm gonna send one more here like uh, like I'm gonna do uh, okay I'm I have I'm, I'm making some sense in the code right now okay let's save it and exit okay now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna recompile it uh, now it's running the program I'm gonna give it a input like 50 now it's printing me the sentence that I have made in the code okay uh, now we know that how to you know like compile the code how to run the code now let's take a step further and solve a uh, code process problem like okay I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna open it like this is the code for this problem from the recent deep to contest like uh, I have read the problem statement already now I'm just gonna solve it uh, we can read the problem statement basically you are given a sequence uh, a1 a2 a n like uh, each element of a is one or two I means the, the elements present in the area is either one or two so basically you need to find like uh, this this is the two condition that should make that should match uh, okay so you can read the form statement now i'm gonna code uh here basically uh, i'm just gonna see uh okay the first input is the test cases like i have already uh taken the input for the test cases uh now i'm gonna do is now i'm gonna do is uh what I'm gonna do is like it's pretty okay. Now I'm gonna take input for uh, n. Okay, perfect. Uh, after that, like I have to take input for uh, like array. Okay, so for array, I can do is like. Okay, I'm just gonna do like int a of n. Okay, uh, for int i equal to zero, i less than n, i plus plus a scene a i. Okay, uh, what I'm gonna do next is that like I'm gonna I'm gonna also count like do one thing here like I'm gonna x is to zero y equal to zero basically it's if ai equal to two y plus plus i'm gonna just kind of count the number of two present in the area and then what i'm gonna do is like int answer equal to minus one i'm just reassigning the variable uh what i'm gonna do is like int i equal to I let I less than n I plus plus 
uh, basically I need to if a i equal to two uh, then I need to increment x plus plus and decrement this if x equal to y then I'm just gonna print answer I'm just gonna uh, like assign it to the answer uh, at the last I'm gonna print the answer okay uh, okay perfect uh, I'm gonna check the base case uh, okay it's correct now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna do is like here I'm gonna clear it like I'm gonna compile it and run it okay now it's asking me for input 3 minus 1 4 Oh, okay. Uh, I think I made some mistake here. Basically, I don't need to. If I if it happens for the first time, then I need to break it. I think it will work right now okay perfect now I'm gonna submit the code like I'm gonna this I have made a command for this like uh, which is very simple to use like uh, it's gonna it's gonna take code uh, it's gonna take code as input like it's gonna like copy it into like uh, some like the submitting folder like where from where I will be submitting the code like now it's printing me the code like i can submit this one copy this one and submit but there is more easy process i'm just gonna submit here you know like this file which is basically located in the compute engine slash submit now this you can just submit this file now all the copy code is copied into this uh, file now i can just submit this file let's submit it and see uh okay it's accepted okay it's accepted right now that means the code is correct okay uh, uh i'm i'm just gonna show the what i did submit it right now cd into uh cd dot dot okay now if we go to submit folder you can see that i have here that code.cpp which i did submit it like oh okay this is it this is the code that i did submit on the code process uh so basically uh uh this project is made for various languages also like i have many many languages like uh, i have made for java also i have made for coldin also i have made for c plus plus you know like these are all that i have made i can check it on github like you can check it on uh github so basically this is my you can just search it on github according to you you'll get it like on the first page of google like you can just check my reports like you can go to compute engine like here are the instruction like how to install it like and how to use it like you can use it uh, as your wish like if you you program in java like you, you can use gradle build C, cp but um this is very slow like gradle build cp is very slow because the gradle takes uh, a lot of memory 
uh, but uh, for the ninja in case of ninja build cp it's very simple and it's very really, really super fast i think you should give it a try uh so the last thing i wanted to tell is about my uh this uh new game like i can like open the code here i can write a code uh basically it's very very good uh you can just uh it's very good it's very nice to write code uh you can just uh install it in your system but you you need to configure it because uh you need a lot of effort to configure it <laughs> i think you, you need to uh you can uh, watch tutorials online you can read online how to configure new vim then after you for the first time you you might find it uh, a bit difficult but uh, later on you'll find it uh, easy stuff okay so i'm not gonna save it so that's all for today's video like if you like the video don't forget to uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel uh don't forget to hit like on my channel uh, on my videos uh yeah, you know share with your friends like tell them about the competence in like and tell them about how to you know like uh, how cool my videos are <laughs> i'm just kidding you know like uh you know like if you like the video just don't forget to hit the like button uh see you in next video bye